Hello, today I will talk about new technology easy to be used in first trimester cardiac scanning. Congenital heart disease is the commonest group of congenital malformations and most of the heart abnormalities occur in low-risk pregnancies. Hence, it is really important that we are able to pick up major heart abnormalities as soon as possible. With a heart scan at first trimester has uh, improved significantly and image quality has moved closer to the one we experience at second trimester, although sometimes resolution is still limited. Use of SMI improves visualization of intracardiac and arterial architectures and therefore will be a, a very significant tool in making diagnosis early. SMI allows us to see blood pool within chambers and vessels, including those with low velocity blood flow. It highlights structures which are not clearly visualized on conventional grayscale. Fetal heart was assessed at 13 weeks of gestation. Transverse cut at the four chamber view demonstrates balanced ventricles with some dominance of the right side of the heart, intercrux, and patent AV valves. The left outload duct is now seen where the pulmonary artery crosses over. The three vessel view appears to be abnormal as the middle vessel ascending aorta is much smaller than pulmonary artery. Color Doppler, the four chamber view, demonstrates flow across the AV valves. There's a trivial tricuspid valve regurgitation and filling of the both ventricles. There is undergrade flow across enlarged pulmonary artery. In the last one, we can see flow in the pulmonary artery and transverse aortic arch. There is undergrade flow in both pulmonary artery duct and ascending aorta. The flow within superior vena cava is in red. We are not able to see so-called V sign, so therefore it is not clear whether the transverse aortic arch is complete. In addition, SMI was used in assessment of this fetal heart. We can now see four chamber view. Blood pool is highlighted within the ventricles and atriums. Interventricular septum is very well seen. And we can also appreciate small vessels, pulmonary veins, returning back to the left atrium, which we were not able to see on previous images. Three vessel view shows now a dilated pulmonary artery and duct, good size superior vena cava, and small ascending aorta, a very delicate transverse aortic arch. Now we're looking at the sagittal view, where on grayscale we really cannot see transverse aortic arch. Therefore, SMI is applied. Looking at the SMI image, we can see that there is a prominent ductal arch and hyperplastic aortic arch. Above it, there is a dominant vein joining SVC. Slightly from different projection, again, we can see and appreciate how hyperplastic is transverse aortic arch giving rise of the head and neck vessels and hyperplastic isthmus giving a high suspicion of coarctation of the aorta in this fetus. I hope with this brief presentation I encourage you to look at the fetal heart as early as first trimester.